Oh yeah, I forgot. We're starting something new. I I have to keep my mic on during starting soon. Welcome in, Mac. You got your hope by me, sick? Good job, Mag. Drake's and Jack for Mag. Getting everybody sick. Sag. Just wear a mask. Easy clap. Nah, but that sucks, man. It feels bad whenever, like, anybody gets sick in the house. Like, don't blame yourself too much. It happens. It's pure RNG. As long as people make sure they conduct themselves in the best manner they can when they're in public, washing hands, sanitizing, all that jazz. You did what you could. Unless you're out licking doorknobs, then that's totally your fault. I'm talking about masks. I gotta get my mask ready. Because we're working with powders today. I mean, it's bound to happen. Like, if one guy goes down, everybody goes down, you know? It's understandable. Like, I know my parents, they have this nasty cough. It's not COVID, they got tested, but they've been sick for like three weeks now. Thankfully, me and my sister haven't gotten it. Hog you. Okay, Rana, updating IG. Telling them that, okay, no free feet, no free feet. Socks on. Oh, so you got something else? Damn. I mean, make sure y'all get your flu vaccines as well. I got mine last week when I went in for a checkup, so. <laughs> Feet stream a little mo. We got the one minute to go. Hello, what can everyone? Welcome in everyone, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Oh, welcome in, Lemon. You're here on time for once. Sheesh. Are you all excited for another painting? Painting number five. doing well today I'm, I, I'm testing out different angles this one I can actually like get out of my room and not have to climb over the desk so we're trying that out today it feels weird looking at the camera but people hey uh, we had lemon and Mac and the just starting student screen thank you guys for chatting um, I have my computer over here you guys can see my screen but it's not gonna leak anything because I'm not DUM so no worries no worries um, we're gonna go ahead and get started with this week's painting. We're gonna be making this one. This one <laughs> into a fully fleshed work. This one is very simple. I don't know how much we can elevate it. Because I think the design is pretty good on its own. Um, if you're new here, or if this is your first art stream, it's usually more chill. 
you can feel free to ask questions you know we're here we hang out I paint am I gonna color it yeah I mean I think I'm gonna keep the same color palette I like the red white and black a lot personally so yeah am I saying anything important yeah it's very important Okay, I think we can go ahead and get started. No more stalling. Um. Okay, let's say. Hey, yo. Okay. So, what I'm gonna do for this design, I'm debating. Because I think I for sure want to use mica powder on the white section. Because I think the mica powder looks really good against white. Um, but maybe we can do a layer of varnish on top of the red. So, in order to do that, we are going to need to put... A base layer of varnish on um, what you call it oh chatters did we F wait we did F what the fuck wait are we back chatters are we here chatters are we here chatters type one if you hear me type one if you hear me except for lemon cuz you can't hear me it says we disconnected for a second Okay, it says I'm still live. It says I'm still up. It dropped frames. Okay, okay. Because, like, on my mod view, it says it disconnected. So, fuck it. No, I don't know what the issue is. Anyway, it should be fine. It should be fine. <laughs> okay, anyway, back to what I was saying. Okay. So I think we're going to do a layer of clear varnish here and here. That way it covers the white sections. And then we'll do red. And then do a thin layer of varnish on top of red and then black on top of everything. I think that's what we're going to do. Wait, I forgot to retweet on my main Twitter. Hold. How are the non-art frogs going to know that we're live? Everybody, go follow my art accounts. I have separate accounts on most social media. So, they're separate accounts, so please go follow, go follow, go follow. What should I put for the caption? <laughs> I'm just gonna put... Ah! <laughs> I'm so funny. I'm hilarious. Okay, wait, I need to check if there's two VODs. Because if there's two VODs, I'm going to lose my goddamn mind. Oh, it's still one VOD. Okay, thank fucking God. I would have been really mad. Yeah, make phone streamer, make phone streamer. Okay, anyway, I just wanted to check. Uh, Twitch is being a little silly billy today. Okay, once again, to reader, we're going to do clear varnish in these sections here do a base of red and then varnish on top of have to make sure red is fully dry before I put varnish on otherwise it's gonna smear the paint and also ruin the layer of varnish so I think we can go ahead and get started uh, let's get our timer up and running because we're speed running today I think chatters do you think I can get this done in five hours this design since the red and the black are more opaque than the blues that we did for the painting two weeks ago, I think it won't take nearly as long. Because the last one took like nine hours. Um, I think I can get this done in six. <laughs> six. My goal is six. Do you guys think I can do it in six? Step one. Okay, okay. I think I'm gonna start my timer. Uh, before before I start my timer, sorry, I'm talking really fucking loud. Since I'm working with powders, make sure you're wearing a mask. You don't necessarily need a respirator, just make sure you have a simple facial covering on whenever you're working with powders. You know, we gotta be safe when we're working with art. I do have fans on, I have my bedroom window open. So please make sure you guys are crafting safely. Okay, mask on. Fuck it, mask on. Seven hours? Fuck. I think I could do it in six. Okay, let's get our timer started. VOD frogs will not be in shambles today. And the timer has gone. Let's go. Now we're working. <laughs> I love how Mac is transcribing. Okay, let's go. So 
So let's see. Let me find me. Gotta get my actual palette out. So again, thank you everybody who's here and watching and lurking. I appreciate you all. Don't be scared to chat. If you don't want to chat, it's totally fun. Okay. What about color combo? I didn't get my. Sorry, I'm missing a tool. I wasted a minute. Okay, since I'm not touching the powders directly, I don't need to wear gloves, but if you're gonna be touching things directly, like this is particularly the powder for resin, make sure you're wearing gloves, but since I'm using a tool to scoop it out, I don't need gloves. Oh, I need to change my chat. It's way too small for me to see. There we go. Did you say anything mean about me? Of course I did. You know how I am. I talk mad shit. So what color combo do I want to do today? I want to do warm- or maybe cooler colors. I mean, warmer colors would look better because since the red is already a warmer color, it'll match. Well, the green might look good. Ooh, fuchsia to gold would look really nice. Yeah, I think Fuchsia the Gold is the way to go for the white. And then maybe we'll do green to violet, or lime to blue would look nice on top of the red. Because what I did notice, um, if you're doing a glitter varnish on top of a color, it stands out a lot more if you use contrasting colors. Meaning don't put a gold glitter on top of a yellow because it won't contrast as much. Going in with regular gloss varnish. Yeah, I think this is the Kirby playlist today. Now we don't necessarily need as much because we're only going in over a small portion. So I think that's good. Oh, I need to wipe this up. <laughs> I'm gonna laugh at random time. Sounds right. Sounds about right. powder so much. You're just scraping it off that way, don't waste any. So is mic audio good? I feel like it sounds fine. Cause I'm facing towards it when I talk. Okay, let's close the mica powder jar cause that'd be bad if it failed. genuinely so annoying whenever you get like a cloth fiber or a brush bristle in your painting it's legitimately upsetting to me because you usually don't catch it until the paint is dry oh like right here i found one it's good thank you mac oh shit there's so many fibers why is there so many fibers in my brush nasty looking yeah it fucks up the texture too this is why when you're doing brushes um you'll see that i label see this one's labeled powder 
then I also have like, brush disabled paint and varnish because you don't want to mix which brushes for which medium because it ruins the bristles over time and also like for example this one still has glitter on it from weeks ago because since the powder is so small it stays in the bristles no matter how much you clean it and it looks like I got some like black fibers in here somehow Now we're not going to match the shape of the design just like the card, there's going to be some alterations. It's going to be basically the same. My stream is laggy so I can't see or hear. Damn, rest in peace lemon. Rip lemon, guys. Lemon in shambles. Okay, just make sure I have everything covered. I'm gonna put a bit more because I have like a tad left. I got a decent coat. This one isn't as even. Oh, you know my Animal Crossing Island? We couldn't do Aurora hunting last night because somebody moved in right away. Sag. So no Aurora this month. Yeah, I think this is good enough. Okay, so you can kind of see I've been varnished on this side and then over here. And the shadows over here from the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Who did I get? I don't know. I think they said that their name was like Flet or something. I don't know. I didn't have time to play last night, so I just logged in to see if the pot was empty or not. But I assume it's like a bird, maybe? Yeah, I have all these black fibers in this brush. How did they get in here? It's fine, it's fine. Okay, so we don't necessarily need to wait long for the varnish to dry. It's totally okay. Okay, we can go ahead and get started with the red. So the red, as you can see in the card, it basically covers this whole middle section. go in with a big brush so I don't waste too much time. Is there an emote I can spam for every occasion? Peace I to gasp is oh wait that's a follower emote. Damn. Uh <laughs> uh what would be a good one to use instead. Peace I to spin is pretty solid. Also a gentle reminder the reason why I have a mask on is because we're working with powders make sure everybody's crafting and working safely at home. Okay, I'm feeling kind of crazy. I'm just gonna pour it right on. I feel a little bit quirky. Now we're gonna do multiple layers of red, so it's fine. If paint is a bit thinner or thicker in some areas, like it's a okay. 
Because we're going to cover over most of the black details anyway. Well, white balance went crazy. Yeah, chatter, spam as much as you want. We are a spam-friendly chat room. I think we'll only need two layers of red. And since there's a black border, I don't need to put my red right up to the varnish. It's totally fine. Put it right here so people coming in can see what we're doing. Or working towards, rather. Yeah, anytime chat is dead or you don't feel like chatting, just emote spam. Easy. I <laughs> miss being healthy. Me too, man. Me too. Why can't they just eradicate sickness from the world, huh? Oh, sorry, I'm not on camera. <laughs> Oopsie, I'm doing the bottom details down here. The VOD watchers in shambles. So, I'm trying to convince my sister to get her license, right? Because she took the classes. She just needs to take her... I think she needs to retake her learner's permit, so she needs to retake the written because it's been a year, so she can practice legally. And she and she and her or she and I took a practice multiple choice last night because I think the actual test in Washington is a forty question quiz, and we both got like fifteen wrong. Because <laughs> I think when I took my written, I got because you can get. Eight questions wrong? I got seven. So I was right on the cusp of failing. But she and I both failed the practice test we took, so... Lamau. You passed already, so it's good. I know, but I'm still trying to, like, convince her, you know? Because I was like, you should take a practice test. And I was like... She was like, okay, then you should too. And I was like, yeah, I guess. So I'm trying to convince her to take the practice test every day since she's not going to actually practice driving. Forgot to silence my phone, sorry. Uh, she's not necessarily scared of driving, it's kind of like me, we're just more so worried about the other people. Because a lot of our family members have gotten into a good handful of accidents on their own. So it's kind of hard to get over that uneasiness. No, she's also fucking stubborn. But I'm also stubborn as well. I'm washing my brush. She and I are both stubborn. But she's not willing to listen. And it's frustrating. My hand's not red at all. Okay, we gotta wait for this paint to dry. Should peace I do punch? Dude. I'd get in so much trouble. She can beat my ass, but I can't beat hers. It's not fair at all. Okay, let's update Instagram. Dude, this looks like ass. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. It's gonna look better in a second.
You know what today's date is? 21. Your music is from Yoshi, really? Oh yeah, we're in a Yoshi compilation now. Thank you. Yeah, I figured, I was like, this doesn't sound like Kirby. Okay, the red is almost done. We gotta do two layers of red, that way we get it to be fully opaque. Because you can see how it's not full coverage yet. You can see how it's kind of like, you can see the strokes. I want to drink some water, but I can't take my mask off yet. So, how are you guys doing? Are you guys excited for next week? It's going to be Wicked Week for Halloween. Mac is sick. Sag. <laughs> Sag. You. I need one of those like hair dryers that goes. Bruh. My mom has one just for crafting, but it's basically like a mini hair dryer. But it's got like a smaller nozzle on it, so you can be a bit more precise when you're drying. I told you, Mac. I told you to rest last week, but you were like, no. I'm fine. Even though I'm losing my voice, I'm fine. So you guys are getting a haunted house at school? That sounds pretty scary. Do you think if I blow on it, it'll dry faster? Step one? Okay, I think it's ready. It's just about dry. Can you missing so much paint? The paint up is so thick. I put way too much on. <laughs> I put way too much on. It's gonna take forever to dry now. made a mistake. It's just happy little accidents, copium. paint on my shirt. I'm gonna try and get this as even as I can now. You can see the difference in opaqueness, right? Yeah? Did I fix the mistake? Kind of. 
Isn't there a setting on your phones to enable, like, not text-to-speech, but is there, like, a live caption function on your phone? I know they have a free extension for that on Google Chrome. But I think, I would think, like, your phone would have, like, the ability to live caption. I splattered paint. Oh no. Wait, I got it off? Okay, well that's- that's a lost cause. I have to do the black. Damn. I hate spilling paint. I just have to work carefully. Okay, now I gotta wait for this red to dry. Yeah, because I got a speckle right here. So that means the curvature of the black line has to cut in tighter. Sag. What? Shatters, what happens if I have to move in November instead of December? Because you might have to move sooner, but we're not sure yet. I'd be happier for you, but it'd be so much more stressful. Then we'd only have not even two weeks instead of a month to get ready. There's so much shit we have to do. I don't know. Alchemy will be great. Yeah. True. Okay, we're stalling. We're waiting. Should we do like reacts while we wait? <laughs> I'm gonna dry faster. Should we even put varnish on top of here? Hmm. <laughs> Temporary stress in the long run will go crazy. Uh, pee pee crazy. A small fiber here. Oh shit. Okay, we'll just have to cover that up later. Oopsie. my like bills on my own account like my phone bill is separate my insurance is separate but my sister's isn't for my parents and it's just like it's gonna take a bit for some of that stuff to process and also for my sister to get like a new sim card and shit so it's like we weren't ready i don't know it's not set in stone yet but it's like bruh Out the splotch I did. Well, that kind of made it worse. Oopsie. <laughs> I 
Okay, kind of saved. Because she's D-U-M. I told her to do it like two fucking years ago when I did, but she's D-U-M. And she's not the type to like, do things on her own, which is fine. But it's annoying. She doesn't like, understand- Like, I was trying to have a serious conversation with her last night, and she was just not willing to participate. Like, since we've lived with our parents for forever, like, we're both so used to things being done for us. But if you're gonna be independent on your own, you gotta do your own shit. Like, you have to be the one making phone calls. You have to be the one, like, getting shit done. No, she's always like this. She's autistic. <laughs> Yeah, we're waiting. We're holding. We're holding, we're waiting. Yeah, there's a speck here that dried in the varnish. Too late. Okay, we're waiting. No, it, it, it's partially why, but she's, like, mature and mentally capable of having certain discussions. She just refuses to. Dude, my hand's power is so strong. <laughs> Dude, I'd be so good at every ninja IRL. Just be like... I would get, like, the air dryer thing, but it's way too loud. Like, you guys would be screaming in agony. Okay, I need to fix the timer. Because it should not be cropped like that. There we go. Now there's no little empty space on the edge of the border. better. Okay, the paint is like 80% dry. Once it's dry, we could put a layer of varnish on. Um, it's gonna probably take like five more minutes, five to ten more minutes of drying, so we're just stalling. <laughs> Why does she keep waving at the painting? <laughs> I'm trying to make it dry faster, you silly. You silly Billy. <laughs> Can you make phone streamer for a second? Everything will be okay. It'll be okay. I'm also, like, fucking annoyed because it's been a month since I've applied for my disability and it still hasn't been reviewed yet. So it's like, bruh. Because if it gets approved, then I can get 400 a month and that'd be crazy. How long does it take? It they said a month. been a month another reason why I don't using the I like using the air gun is because it's heat powered so sometimes if you put like the nozzle too close it causes your paint to bubble and if your paint is on too thick it'll cause it to like it'll make like like little waves in it because it's pushing the paint when it's drying yeah, they need to give me my money. I should get back paid for the whole year. <laughs> I mean, it's my fault for not applying sooner. It's because I didn't think I'd be eligible. But in Washington, 
if you are in the process of getting a diagnosis, you can still, like, get some form of cash benefit. But you can get more benefits if you get an actual diagnosis, so that's pretty cool. If you get an actual diagnosis for a disability, depending on what type, you can get, like, half of your old wages. So if you make 3000 a month, you can get 1500 in wage loss. So that'd be cool. Because back when I was working food service, I was making like 2200 a month. What is the heat thingy? It's like a little heat gun. It's like a mini um, hair dryer, but it has a smaller nozzle. Yeah, 1500 yeah. It, it all depends on the severity of your disability. So, for example, if you're in a wheelchair or if you're an amputee, you'd be getting big bucks if you applied. But you have to prove... That your disability dehabilitates you to a point where you can't work. So if you have your disability and you're working, then you don't get anything. So. Why would I have to prove that I'm an ADT? <laughs> no, that's obviously super easy to prove, but if you have like a mental... Uh, disability then that's a lot harder to prove I think if you want to try and apply for um, benefits if you have anxiety or depression you have to prove that you've been seeing a counselor for six months that you've been on medication for a year so and it's also very difficult to prove that you're incapable of working for that reason so even if I do have a diagnosis for anxiety or depression, I would not be able to get benefits because that is not severe enough. Like, you can still work if you have those mental dehabilitations. And a lot of people do. Hey, that's almost dry. Would this count as working? I mean, I'm working on stream. So collectors, collectors actually in shambles because they're paying me to just sit around and wait for paint to dry. I have a lot more respect for deaf people right now. See, I kind of, you don't understand things to their full perspective unless you experience it. It's also probably harder because I have a mask on as well. Like maybe people could read lips, but my lips don't move often when I speak too. So lip readers in shambles whenever I speak. Okay, it's almost dry, like five more minutes. It's almost there. I really hope you're able to see the varnish on top of the red. Because I did a few tests, like on some swatches, and it's harder to see the glitter on top of something if it's not white. I mean, it's more subtle than anything. Oh, I also need to do my nails later today. I need to trim them and also, like, I think I'll do orange and black. Because I painted my mom's nails last week, and I did orange, and then orange, and then like half black, and that looked kind of cool. So I might do that today. After painting, of course. Is that- okay, I'm gonna see if there's live captions on my phone. Samsung S Dude, I don't know what the fuck that is, but 
There is a live caption function. Look right here. There is. Let's see. It uses additional battery. Only in English. Let's see. Oh, I don't have YouTube on my phone, Lamel. Whoa, it works! Okay, I don't want to show my For You page. <laughs> See, look. That's actually cool. I didn't know that it was available, like, actually on your phone. You have a Motorola? You're capping. Yeah, it, it captions it pretty well. Damn, that's actually cool. Because I've gotten a few, like, requests where people are asking why I don't have, like, a captioning extension for the actual stream. And I said, you know, there are, like, third-party exceptions or extensions you can download. Because I don't want to have an overlay on screen. Because, like, people have preferences for how they want their captions to look. Sometimes some heart colors are harder to see for certain people. So, if people want captions, you can always get third-party stuff. And if you can have it on your phone, they can shut up. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It's just there's lots of resources and people... Uh, that that brings a, a touchy topic because like you want to make sure your stuff is accessible. But for me, personally, captions are distracting sometimes. So I only need captions if it's like someone... If they're talking like really quickly or if they're talking a lot. But if it's for a stream, I don't need captions. So, like, captions does help me. Um. But I don't need them. Okay, the paint is almost dry. It's almost dry. Okay, I think we can start mixing the varnish then. So, since we're gonna do varnish on top of the red, I think I'm gonna do the green to blue because if I did a warm to warm color it wouldn't show up as well did imagine I spill <laughs> that'd be sad okay I'm gonna mix a lot because it's probably gonna take one or two coats of varnish to get full coverage Yeah, so if you can go to accessibility or just type in the search section, just live captions. Dude, that is actually game changing. I should tell that to my sister. Because she um, is able to watch media a lot better if they have captions. And not every application has captions, so maybe that'll actually help her. I'll tell her later. Oh, wait. Because I have two phones. I'm not rich. Let's see if it's. I have a Samsung S9. Let's see if it's available in that version. Because this is the version that my sister has. Oh no, there's no live caption. Oh, Saji. Oh, live- okay, so it's either gonna be live captions or live transcribe. Oh, so if you- I have a Samsung S9, this one you have to get a third-party app from Google. But you can still find it in the settings, live caption. Oh, they have live caption here too! Damn, that's actually pretty cool. I was clueless on that.
Yeah, Lemon can't hear me, Sag. Sag. I mean, hopefully soon they can. Or at least see what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm mixing the varnish. Oh, the paint isn't dry. Oh shit, oh shit. It's too late now. Oh fuck, dude. This might be ruined. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I should have waited. This is why whenever you do like a top coat of varnish on a final piece, you have to let your painting set and dry for like a day or two. Don't worry, this this brush is now not usable for powders, but I I bought like a 10 pack of this brush, so it's fine. No need to worry. Okay, this was a mistake. But now I know. Okay, so now I know in the future. If I want to do varnish on top of paint, I have to wait a day. So it'll have to be a multi-day painting. Got it. Lamau. You know, but I learned something today. Just be patient. I think a chatter asked before, can you add the mica powder directly to the acrylic? I would recommend not doing that because you'd have to put like a lot of powder in the mixture. And also since it's powder, it does like thicken the paint and it makes it harder to work with. Like maybe it'll work if you like thin down your acrylic a little bit, but otherwise it wouldn't really work. You got it. Ayo. Saved. Yeah, it's picking up so much of the layer of paint below it. I have so many regrets. This is my one regret in life. I should have waited. But you know what? It's fine. We can keep working with this. Maybe I could just paint another layer of red on top of this and it'll be like nothing happened. Right? Nobody would snitch. Nobody would snitch and tell the collectors, right? Right? <laughs> Hi, Kobobo. Welcome in. We're doing well today. We're trying to fix a massive screw up. I think I'm just gonna have to cover it with red. I think that's the only thing I can do. I just wasted a good tablespoon of varnish, but you know, it's fine. You know, I'm rich, so I can afford to get new varnish, right? I got two laptops and a private jet. Yeah, Lemon doesn't have headsets, so they can't listen to the stream. What's the current follower count? Uh, uh, look at the channel. I think 35? Fog you. We need 50, guys. We need 50. Tell all your friends to follow. Dude, this looks so bad. It, it genuinely looks like ass now. 
Uh. I think I have to cover it up with red. <sighs> Damn. Like, you can't even see the glimmer because the varnish mixed in with the paint. Damn. It doesn't look that bad. No, it- Honey, it does not look good. It does not look good in person. Cause like, you can see- Like, see- Oh, oh sorry. See the glimmer here? How it's nice and even? And see how it's kind of patchy here? It's not- it's not good. It's- it's not good. <laughs> it, no, honey, it does not look good. I- I have to cover it with red, that's the only solution. What do you mean, what happened to the raid? Everybody got raided. Because the way that raids work is you- you don't have to click join, it automatically sends you to their channel, typically. You just have to make sure you have the most updated version of the Twitch app. Oh, if you're watching on mobile, it usually takes a bit longer sometimes. That's weird. Make sure you have the most updated version of Twitch then. That's weird. Damn, now we have to wait for this silly varnish to dry. Why did nobody stop me? Hmm. I'm really mad at you guys. So what did we learn? We learned if you're gonna do varnish on top of paint, Make sure it's fully dry and let it set for a day. Okay, I have glitter all over my fingers now. Are you trade bits in this chat? That's great. could scrape it off. I don't think I should, though. Okay, well, varnish doesn't take as long to dry as paint does, so... Hmm. Now we gotta stall again. Bod watchers and shambles. <laughs> uh, talking about vod watchers... We are an hour in the stream, so you know what time it is. It's time for me to tell everybody to not subscribe, but follow the channel. Because we don't have affiliate yet. But if you're new here and you want following, hashtag free to follow. Click the heart button. Your name shows up on screen. And you get to type in chat to plug you. So follow the channel. And hit smash that follow button. Dude, I'm sad that didn't work. It was either gonna work perfectly, or what happened just now. Sag. VOD. V-O-D. Oh, wait, you got captions on. <laughs> Dude, Mag is dedicated to the copy pasta. I'm gonna make a Google Doc instead of using the notepads. You never, yeah, cause like if you follow offline, the alert still shows up, but it shows up offline. So the alerts only pop up if you like follow or donate during the actual stream. Like for example, if you give the sub in my offline chat, the alert comes off when you give the sub. It doesn't come up later. Yeah, it's... 
otherwise because like for the big streamers they get so many resubs offline some get like tens of thousands every month so if they have 30,000 subs then they get a thousand subs every day and most of them happen offline so that's why their alerts don't go off all the time because a lot of people resub offline Okay, we're waiting. We're waiting. Gotta go. Okay, bye, Lemon. Thank you for hanging out. I'm glad you got the captions figured out, but we'll see you later, hon. Dude, I'm so upset this didn't work. Can you gift offline? Yeah, you can. It's just you won't get the attention. Like, I think Rainy one time got a level 5 hype train in her offline chat. Because I think she was, like, singing in her Discord. And then people just donated to her chat. <laughs> so she had, like, a level 5 hype train offline. <laughs> That's crazy. I love the attention. Yeah, Mac is an attention hog. Oh my god, there's gnats. There's a gnat. The get out. Get out. Get out. Sorry, can you guys see that? There's a fucking gnat. Oh, I have a mask on, Lamo. Stop, dude, it keeps landing in the paint. Thankfully, it's little toesies. Don't pick up the paint. Get out of here. Wait, you, you, can you see it? That little black speck? That's the fucking gnat. Get out, get out. Get up before you get stuck on the painting. I don't want to hit it because I don't want to smear it. Get <laughs> Stop. Stop. Oh my god, get off. There, it's gone. Somebody clipped that. That was good. Yeah, and that suck. Thankfully, the new house... I mean, not house, sorry. It's not a house. I keep on saying new house, new property. Doesn't have any pests. Not even ants. Gotta keep it that way. We're still waiting. Yeah, I don't know if you can clip on your iPad. I've never attempted that, so I don't know if it works at all. Okay, I'm gonna get some water. My ass golf. Fuck it, my ass golf. Yeah, I tried to clip on desktop the other day and it didn't work. I got mad. Yeah, clipping on mobile is horrible. Also, thank you to Kobobo for clipping the channel yesterday. Thank you. I think Kobobo is going to get VIP for most clips. So good luck with that. Y'all got 10 days left. Okay, it's basically dry. We'll wait two more minutes. Oh, it lets you watch Twitch in your Safari? It doesn't let me. Anytime I try to open Twitch on, like, my browser, on devices, it just defaults to the app. <laughs> I need to clip the pop off. I know. I mean, whenever I look at the clips, I don't look at the views. I look at, like, what the clip is actually of. Hi, Emmy. Peace out to yo. Oh, welcome in. Hope we're doing well today, hon. Okay, we're waiting one more minute for it to dry. And I'm so bad at myself still. I should not have done the varnish. That was a rookie mistake. I think another problem was I put too much powder in the mixture. It's because you can... I can't really tell, but see how some spots are more opaque than others? Because it looks like I smeared, like, glue on here. Because, you know, Elmer's glue, it dries clear, but if you put too much goop on it, it's somewhat, like, white and opaque. That's what it looks like right now. It looks like ass. <laughs> I always refresh to check with this dude. You're obsessed. Uh... Okay, let's start painting now. 
put less on. Because we don't need a fully opaque layer. Cover up our massive L we took. Oh, full coverage, full coverage. Back to normal. Back to full matte coverage. Yeah, clips usually do well, like you said, during or after the stream, because if somebody sees your live, they're more likely to check out your channel, because it shows up in their following feed. And also, if somebody misses a stream, they want to see the top moments, or the best moments. So that's when clips do the best. And since a lot of my following is from other social media platforms, like IG, Twitter... YouTube, TikTok. That's how most people find the channel. <sighs> Let's have a clipping cloud stream. I mean, I think it'd be kind of interesting to go through a VOD and explain to you guys what I think makes a good clip. Because um, I know with a normal stream, there's always going to be periods of like dead air and that type of thing. Like, not every moment of any stream is going to be clippable. I think the only downfall we'll see with like my clips account on YouTube or TikTok is that it doesn't show any like fantastic moments. It's very much like just me talking. It's a lot of the same thing. So how people were saying, I feel like I get to know you a lot quicker over time with that type of content. It's not good for new people. Like new viewers they don't know you at all, so they're gonna want like a super hype moment or a really funny joke. I think the I think the last stream we did where we broke down editing or how I edit was back in May, and I basically edited the best of monthly compilation on stream. So I had the clips already done and made by Chatters and oh, fuck myself, and I just edited it and spliced it together like. Because when you're editing compilations, it's all about the timing of your trims. And like timing your cuts perfectly. I think... Um... Because Kobo... I, I looked at the clips throughout the month that you guys make. Um, Kobo will usually clips me talking about things. So it's more so to showcase the personality. But Crystal clip clips sound bites. Sound bites don't do as well. Because sound bites that are 10 seconds long don't give enough context. Is the VOD slow for that? No, because on Twitch, um, for non-Prime or non-Turbo users, VODs are only up for a week. And if you are a Prime user, then VODs will be published for two months. So since it's from May, it will be up on my YouTube VOD channel. And the way I organize my VOD channel, I have playlists by the type of game, if it's just chatting, if it's reacts. I think that stream is titled... I think it was a calligraphy stream, and then it transitioned into editing. So it's probably titled, like, writing all my followers' names, and then editing the best of compilation, or something like that, I think it's called. So you'd have to find it on the YouTube channel. Is the Pokemon Snap VOD gone now? Maybe. It, it's for sure up on YouTube, though. Because, um... I always export things to YouTube. That way, if I lose, like, my hard drive or flash drive where my videos are saved and downloaded, then it's always on YouTube. So. Are you actually watching back old VODs? That's so cute. Kobobo keeping up with lore. Lamo. Says you, Mac. Says you. Okay, now we gotta wait for this red to dry and then we can get black. Like my soul. Yeah, Sibathon was kind of mid. 
I wish I had more incentives enabled. I think they would have been made a better content, but I just didn't feel comfortable at the time. I also fucked up the timer for the subathon, so I have to get a different overlay for next year. Because the time was off the whole time. Because, um... I think it was one sub equals five minutes, but it defaulted to one sub equals tw two and a half minutes. Um... <laughs> then I was like, it ended early? Nah. Because, like, Subathon is solely based on donations, so... It only goes for as long as people donate, and it, it, um, I think a big reason why people do subathons, or a lot of the people I see who do subathons are people, okay, not Emmy, mod check Emmy, she's not, hopefully she's not listening, <laughs> um, but I see a lot of people Uh, that's a nice way of saying it. Because, like, when you're a small streamer, a lot of your, like, interactions in chat, a lot of your donations come from other streamers. Like, that's just normal. Similar to how last week, I think on the main channel, we talked about, like, how collaborations is not good for long-term growth. Um... And I don't want anyone to ever feel obligated to donate in that type of thing. I think subathons are only really successful if you're at partner level. Would you play viewers next subathon? Yeah, it depends on what games we do. I think for next year's subathon, I want to have more just chatting segments. I think that'd be fun. You paint his drawing. Give it like three more minutes. This is the part I hate about painting. You gotta wait. I think also with subathons, you have to have like a mutual agreement with your viewers. Be like, you know, this only works if you donate. I think there was multiple times I expressed before we did it. I was like, are you guys sure? Are you guys willing to donate for this content? And some people were like, yeah, I will. So it's a... It's this weird, like, you know, piece I do shake understanding between the um, viewers and the streamer. Mario Kart tournament next week? Yes. On Sunday, we're doing Meg Esports. I'll post a graphic next week. Probably on Tuesday. And no narcs, but I might be in an actual tournament soon. <gasps> piece I do. Gasp. Is it weird that I feel more comfortable wearing a mask? Is that weird? Big phone streamer. Yeah. Once it's officially announced. Then I'll make sure to tell you guys, because you all better be there to cheer me on. Because the way that most tournaments work is that sometimes they let the people stream on their own channel, and then sometimes they'll, like, stream your POV in Discord, and then they host it on their main channel. So. I'll be spamming your emotes. Yeah. Stream your tournament can help you grow more? Nah. Remember how- I literally just said collaborations don't help. They lead to artificial growth because usually the only people who follow you from collab streams is the streamers not the actual viewers dude imagine i got first that would go crazy <laughs> i don't think i don't think i mean maybe because i th i think i'm decent like if i'm playing with people who are bad then i'd win Okay, chatters, if I get first in any tournament I ever play, y'all gotta give me your primes, okay? Deal? But primes forever. Forever. I need your primes forever. 
Oh my god, the other streamers are bad? No, I don't know. I don't know. They might be. I don't know. I don't know who the fuck they are. <laughs> I mean, I have some samples of who some people are. Rat Rat, did I leak? No leaks? Okay, two more minutes, then it's almost dry. I think I can take the mask off now, but I don't want to. I kinda wanna keep the mask on. Fuck it, mask on. Emmy. <laughs> nah, I don't think Emmy's in it. <laughs> nah, she's not in it, Sag. Because I, I don't know many other Mari Kart people. What does Emmy play on stream? Your mom. Uh, she usually does just chatting. She used to do a lot of horror games. I think last stream she played FNAF. Um, she's been doing like a lot of just chatting because like her computer's been iffy. That's what she plays. She usually does like a lot of story stuff. She'll do like pressure washing simulator. Sometimes I like those streams a lot because usually more chill. Okay, one more minute. Also, we might stream tomorrow on the main channel. Tomorrow or Sunday. Because I think my plans for tomorrow might be cancelled. Because I have no money if we're gonna move soon, so. I can't afford to spend much. Yeah, I agree. I don't think I'd, I could ever play a sim game. Because I feel like I'd be wasting my IRL life playing. <laughs> That's why like, I can only play Animal Crossing for so long. Because I'm like, you know, I could be actually working on shit besides running around in Animal Crossing. Okay, I think we can start black now. Let's get going. I'm gonna get a medium sized brush. Maybe this one. Oh, there's tape on it. These are new. I also have these. I don't want the longer one. They make you sick, really? I mean... Definitely playing games in like first person POV makes me kind of icky. Feels kind of queasy. Okay, now we're finally going in for the main show. We're going in with black now. So this one is going to decide the main curvature. Oh, that's actually gonna work out perfect. You know, we gotta be extra careful not to spill this time, right? This brush is already splitting, see? So bad. Imagine Walmart brushes being ants. Who figured? That red is not dry yet, Lobo. <laughs> I think I'm just getting too impatient.
That was a pretty good stroke. Yeah, we play music. I know. I found this compilation the other day and I was so happy. Dude, we streams are gonna go crazy. And you know how I said I was concerned about showing feet if I play Wii Feet? I can just wear my exercise shoes on the Wii Fit board. Five head. Then we won't get any leaks. Oh, I used to watch Twitch on my TV when I would come home from work and I'd fall asleep with, like, a stream on the TV. So I usually open Twitch on, like, browser. Can we get one line down? Oh, fuck, it's wet! Sorry, I got really mad. I got really mad. I- sorry, I got really mad. I smudged my finger in it. I grabbed the edge of the paint by accident. Sorry, I got really mad. This is not a kid for I mean, this is a PG-13 chat room, but it's not kid-friendly. I curse too much. Gonna go in. Ooh, that's I that goes crazy. That goes crazy. That line. Do you ever see those painting videos where they do like strokes like that in one go? How do they do it? How do they do it? Like, how do they have enough paint on their brush to do that in one continuous stroke? I'm, like, fascinated whenever I watch those videos. Oh, I have chat rules. It's just I forgot to write them in the first stream. <laughs> so, uh, new chatters, there are chat rules. They are also in my about section. I need to rotate this so I can see what I'm actually working on. Double denied. It, it's the same chat rules as my main channel, so. The only different chat rules we have is like no backseating. We don't have that rule here because I'm not playing a video game. Yeah, you can do commands in offline chat, yeah. Or wait. If it's an emote only mode, I don't think you can actually. I don't know, we'll see.
So I'm trying to like correct this stroke because it's crooked, but. <laughs> Update the secret command before you go to bed every day. I try to, but then I forget. And guys, I don't have that many secrets. You know, I don't got 365 secrets. I think if somebody has that many secrets, then... That's way too many. That's a problem. You know the paint tape we did last week with all the black straight lines? I thought the lines came out really good and straight, but some of them are still fucking crooked. <laughs> so, oopsie. Because when I looked at the final picture, I was like, oh, some are crooked. Ooh, that was a really good stroke. Oh, god, fuck. I spoke way too soon. I just need to just never talk again. I should go mute again. Would you guys watch a no microphone stream? Because back when I started stream streaming initially, my sister was like, oh, I kind of want to stream too. She was like, I want to play a game, no face cam, no mic. And I was like, huh? Then what's your personality? Like, I think that only works if your gameplay is, like, insanely epic. Otherwise, people have nothing, they don't, they don't know anything about you. There's no, like, thing that showcases you, it's just the gameplay. Really depends, bruh. You'd watch a no cam, no mic stream. That sounds boring. That's what I told her. And then she's like, I don't want to show my face or people to hear my voice. And I was like, well, then you can't be a streamer. That might work like 10 years ago, but there's like an expectation that people have. Like, I know if I go into a small stream and I see that their mic is shit, I won't watch it. Because I'm just like conditioned to like think... Mice are supposed to sound good, you know? And I feel bad because I understand not everybody can has the best can have the best tech, but that's just what viewers expect now. Okay, right now we're filling in the black. It was playing with viewers, you might. But okay, I think the better question is would you watch somebody who has no cam no mic over somebody who does? Because the game of streaming... Ooh, that texture looks really cool. Right here. Like, the not full coverage look. I like that texture a lot. Anyway. The game of streaming is getting people to watch your stream over somebody else's. That's why it takes people's years to gain an audience, because... If somebody has an established platform, like, you know, the OG streamers, Soda Poppin, NMP, um, Train, XQC... Our XQC started a lot later when compared to the other people. Anyway. Then. You have to get those viewers to watch you. A lot of people who start streaming don't realize that. Even if you have the best quality equipment. Even if you have the best content. Supposedly. You have to make somebody choose you over somebody else. I'm gonna fill in 
the blacks on the sides here so I can get an idea of how I want to define like these center shapes. You like putting a voice to a face? So then do you hate Dream? <gasps> oh no! Dream stands are gonna get really mad at you. I've never watched Dream, neither have I. I don't get the hype. Because I started watching YouTube stuff, like, right before Minecraft popped off. So I, I never got it. The reason why Minecraft did so well is because a lot of the gameplay is like roleplay focused, so like it's just an element of escapism. It's reminiscent of like when you're little and you play pretend. That's what I think it's like. That's why I think a lot of kids like Minecraft streams or like Minecraft RP. Because it's literally playing playing pretend. Not to say that the content is childish, but it makes sense why so many kids gravitate towards it. And by kids, I mean teenagers as well. Not little children. Yeah, this is gonna need at least two coats of black to get full coverage. What's my time at? Hour and a half. Okay, now that I have that side done... Let's figure out how I want to define the first line. Yeah, I agree with that fully cool Volvo. Face cam does so much more to showcase your personality and, like, self-expression. One of the best tips I got was from i think it was bra fairy she's starting to stream again because she took a hiatus for health reasons but she said because she would like listen to my streams because she would work <laughs> and have it on at work but she was saying if somebody new is watching and they see you aren't like emoting enough then it makes it seem like you're not having fun so not necessarily faking a reaction is good but being more expressive will gravitate more people towards you. And I was like, wow, that actually makes sense.
And style can tell a lot about a person too, yeah. I mean, I don't dress up too much for stream. Like, I wish I could be more extra, but I don't have a lot of, like, extra clothes. And, like, I know for these streams, I usually wear black. Because it's, like, we're getting, like, a full, like, upper body POV and then sometimes lower body POV. So it's, like, I like how I look, but not everybody likes how I look. Yeah, I do wear colors sometimes. But I wish I had more color in my wardrobe. Your suit? This is not a suit. You wanna, act you wanna actually see the fit? I still have my mask on, don't I? This is like, it's a mesh top. So, you can't really see it. Or maybe you can show the details on this camera. It's mesh, see? But I, I'm just wearing it over a tank top. I actually got this mesh thing from Japan. Oh, the actual suit? Lamau. <laughs> I mean, it's just a suit coat. But I can't wear that suit coat in public because it's way too small. <laughs> way too small. Because it's like busting at the seams. So I can only wear it for straight because you know, you can only see like upper torso. Anyways, I would dress more extra, but it'd be different if I went out more. Then I could, like, look cute for other people, I guess. But since I don't go out, there's no really need to. So that was a good stroke. Pretty solid. <sighs> I mean, y'all won't ever see me wearing a costume. I think costumes are cringe. The gnat is back. Dude, why is it... Get, get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, it landed on my finger. The gnat is back. The gnat attack. I know for me, I don't necessarily care too much about aesthetics of a stream, because I'm like an audio listener. What am I going to make for dinner today? Um, something that your mom would like, obviously. Yeah, I agree. I think costumes are too gimmicky. It makes you look like a tryhard. Because I think the biggest appeal to a stream is how genuine you are. Like, people like watching folks who seem to be real people. And people they can relate to. That's why sometimes when people get big, like YouTubers or streamers, a lot of people leave. Because they're not attainable or relatable anymore. No, my mom said she wants me to make her a painting. She wants a poppies one. So I'm trying to think of how to make like poppies look geometric looking. Like she doesn't necessarily like the more modern style, but I think I can make it look cool. Okay, let's see how this looks. That's a pretty solid straight line. Look at that. That's pretty good, right? 
Guys, stop talking about McDonald's, please, guys. I can't afford it. If I get five gifted in my main channel chat right now, I'll get McDonald's. <gasps> yeah, that's what I told her. I told her, I was like, she should make Barbie clothes. I think that would do well on like a TikTok live. Okay, now I'm gonna do this curve. Yeah, I agree. She she wouldn't have to show face. She could have mic on, but it wouldn't be too invasive. Like that'd be an easy stream to like respect her privacy, you know. Yeah, I have to turn the painting this way. I can't move my wrist like that anymore. It's hard moving it up and down. Yeah, I'm not going to say too much about what she wants to do. Because I, I have like a base like marketing plan or strategy that I'm thinking of for her. But... As with most crafters who are independent, I think doing monthly drops are good. And then having like a baseline stock available. Oh shit. Because some Etsy sellers would, or they're able to sell like somewhat simple, okay, not super simple, because it's hard to sew that tiny. But some like base like shirt or skirt designs for like twenty thirty dollars a piece. So she could easily sell like super elaborate pieces for a good pocket of change. It's just a matter of her making a brand or name for herself that she needs to have a strategist involved. Like me, of course. What kind of Barbie says she likes? She likes the ones that have like the mobile hand and arms. The ones they can fully manipulate. Like the vintage ones are fine, but the anatomy is kind of weird to work with. Because when you're thinking about clothes, you have to think about the actual design and then how you're going to like take on and off the clothes. You also have to determine if your audience is going to be kids or like collectors. Because if it's collectors, then you can make your pieces slightly more intricate, a bit more fragile. But if it's for children, you have to make sure you should probably use, like, Velcro over buttons. Like, the little snap buttons you can get. Because obviously kids are going to be a bit rough. Damn it, I messed up the line. It's over. Run ruined. It's definitely worse than the varnish mistake I made earlier. It's gonna be huge.
Are babies expensive? Not really. I don't think so. Okay, I think this line looks weird. That curvature does not look natural. I think it looks better if I extended it a little bit. Of the, cause like, see how that doesn't look good. Cause see how this one sharp curves and then it goes like this. I think it looked better if I kept the curve going like this side. Question, if my sister streamed Barbies, or Barbie clothes making, would you guys watch? Because I feel like that already be a niche enough audience on its own. Because I don't think that would ever do well on Twitch, if she doesn't market her personality. Like, it'd solely have to rely on the craftsmanship of her work. Yeah, exactly. Like, it would be just to support, not to, like, actually enjoy the content. That that brings up the topic again of collaborations don't necessarily work. If she talked, lamau. Well, <laughs> I mean, this is not something that'll launch for upwards of a year. Because obviously you need money to invest in, like, a craft endeavor for a business. Like, you probably need, like, 4 to 5k to invest. Also concerning time. Because time is money. So I think, oh, I said I wasn't going to share the strategy. If you do voiceovers of it. Okay, okay. You guys ever see, like, the random crafting videos? And then it's like, am I the asshole part two? And it's like someone just voiceovering, like, a Reddit story. And it's somebody, like, making ceramics. Or, or like, sewing. Like, that format does really well, because people like the voiceover, they don't necessarily enjoy the crafting. The crafting is nice to look at, but it's not the main focal point. That could be an interesting format to try. Should I do voice acting? Tap one. I think voice acting would be fun. But I just need to, like, speak clearly. <laughs> Two? Why should I not do voice acting, Mac? I'm really mad. That wasn't very nice of you. That was a genuine question. I wasn't trolling. Tell me why. Give me a detailed copypasta essay as to why. Hmm? I was being a jokey eater, yeah, Mac is a hate watcher, guys. Once you hit the six-month mark, everything goes downhill. No, that's fine. I know you're goofing. I think voice acting would be fun, but it's very, like, tedious work. <laughs> Mac is, like, fighting for their life right now. They're like, please, please, peace in 17. Don't be mad. I am your biggest fan. Orpha. Okay, I'm trying not to touch myself. With the painting. Okay, I'm gonna fix this line. I feel so no, you're fine. I'm I'm trolling. I'm trolling your troll. There we 
There we go. Uh, see, that curvature looks a lot better now. It looks a lot more natural. Saved. I'm a weirdo if I make people feel bad with jokes. Nah. I feel like some jokes made at people's expenses are fine, but some are not appropriate. It all depends on, like, their own personal boundaries. Like, obviously, there will be jokes that I will not tolerate. But for the most part, I'm pretty chill. Okay. <laughs> what is- I think it's the tanks minigame. <laughs> That's why it's the same tune over and over. Let's get a full POV of this. That looks good. I should have gone with a brighter red. But you know, maroon is fun. People pog, wow. I need to straighten that line. Actually, I'll wait till I do a second coat. I'll wait. Okay. Let's get this paint off my brush. Now we have to update IG because chatters. IG frogs need to see what we're doing since they can't watch the stream. I mean, they could, but they can't right now. Yeah, this is Zelda music now. Sorry, I snickered because you can see my feet, but I have socks on. Haha. <laughs> nice try. Make phone streamer. It's raining. No way. Will the smog finally go away in Washington? Tune in next week. Four. Will we suffocate today? Live at seven.
Now, we can start going in. Wait. Inside details. I think I'm gonna have to like bring this line in a bit more. But I gotta define the inside shapes first. Okay, let's get started. Oh, sorry, the streamer peace and underscore 17 sounds just like you. I know, kind of crazy, huh? Exclamation main in chat. Dude, I'm so glad it's raining. Finally. You guys look a lot different though, really? Huh? <laughs> yeah, maybe we're twins. I don't know. Now, the reason why I like the mask is is because I'm not smelling the paint at all. Because I don't like the smell of acrylic. It smells like sand. I think we'll keep the mask on today.
Hey chatters, we are another hour into stream. So you know what time it is. It's time not to run ads, but to tell everybody it's hashtag free to follow. If you're new here, follow the channel. Your name shows up on screen and you get to type in chat. So everybody hashtag free to follow. Click the heart button and follow the channel. It's the best way to support right now. Back to work. <laughs> No, no ads yet. Sad, no ads. What do you guys think of the ad incentive deals they're offering streamers? To where if you stream this amount of hours and run this ad density, you get this baseline pay. Because, like, you know, there have been screenshots of, like, people getting, like, tens of thousands of dollars to run six minutes of ads every hour. I think it's a viable option. Because if you can get guaranteed income every month, that's pretty great. But it's only worth if you have a big platform. Because there's some affiliates who have gotten that offer. And some partners who are smaller when compared to other partners. Who are getting just $100, even $20 to run a higher ad density and stream a minimum hour. And granted, those deals only go out to people who don't have Twitch contracts. So they're not required to stream a minimum amount of hours. See, my thinking is, if Twitch can pay the streamer that much to run that many ads, how much money is Twitch getting from ad density? Because I think with that offer, they get like 50% of the ad revenue from the ads they play. So they can pay the streamer tens of thousands. How much is Twitch getting, huh? How come they can take away the 70-30 split? Hmm. I think I would only take that type of ad incentive deal if I wasn't getting sufficient sub revenue. Meaning, if I got like a livable wage off of just sub revenue, or more than a livable wage, sorry is what I meant to say, then I wouldn't take that ad deal. I'd wait until I can get a contract. Okay, yeah, let's look at this line. Okay, the line is almost perfect. Almost perfect, except for here. I kind of wavered a little bit, but that's fine. I'll just have to touch it up. Okay, I think I'm going to bring this in a little bit here to kind of define the shape a little bit better. Oh, shit, I shifted my camera. Sorry. Sorry. Why didn't y'all tell me? I think I just clipped it, that's why. Oh, see that curve really fucked up the shape, didn't it? Mm. See, it's kind of crooked here. Damn. I mean, you can't really touch it up. Shit. Well, whatever. <laughs> it's a okay.
I think... Because that line is so crooked. I don't know how I messed it up. I think I have to touch it up with red. Because uh, that's not going to work. That I have to touch it up. I have to do another coat of red, guys. Rip. Guys, I'm a pro painter. Collectors in shambles. Yeah, so we're gonna have to wait for this black to dry. Then we can touch that up. Oh, you can't even see it, sorry. You can see that's a much better line now. But ever play Zelda on stream? Maybe. I would do Breath of the Wild, but the puzzle is a bit... I'm not good at puzzles, that's the problem. My brain is too small. Okay, we're gonna wait for that line to dry. In the meantime, we can do the next one. Maybe. I was thinking about doing Link's Awakening, because I like the aesthetic of that one. I think I'll do pencil. There we go. Actually draw on a circle pencil. That way I have a line to guide me. Five head. Okay, the shadow from my arm kind of blocks the pencil line when I draw. Or when I paint. It didn't work. Collector still in shambles. Yeah, the pencil line was a bit crooked.
Okay, no more pencil because when I erase it takes off some of the red. So no more pencil. Only freehand. area done let's cover up that red now cover up that mistake oh yeah this is gonna take two coats to cover have to come back at the end. Okay, we'll come back to that. See, that's not full coverage. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. So you're at two hours. I think this will be a five, six hour job. No more than six. No shot. About the next line. Seven? No, no way this will take seven hours. No shot. No way. Crazy. Or just call Bobo. But if it takes longer, I can charge more. Hey, yo. Crystal, welcome in. Hope you're doing well today, hon. Collectors and shim. Thank you. 
Sorry, I keep flipping the cord. curve of the line is weird, isn't it? It's similar to the issue we had earlier. It's not natural looking, but it's fine. It's fine! Because it's not as bold of a line as this here, so it's fine if it's a bit inorganic looking.
Chatters, we are another 30 minutes in the stream, so you know what time it is. If you're not following, follow the channel, hashtag free to follow. Your name shows up on screen and you get to type in chat. Wow. I think we'll try and do that every 30 minutes instead. Wait, is music done playing? No way. Oh. It's just intentional dead air. <laughs> okay. Weird. Taylor's just not for you, Sag. I only know, like, her popular songs. I haven't sat down and listened to a full album of hers. I kind of agree. It's just, like, her music is not for me. Maybe I'll give the album a listen later, but I'm not too interested. Because I'm the type of person to where if I like something or an artist, I'll just listen to them. I don't like exploring too much. Yeah, I agree. Totally with that, Chris. I, I don't I haven't played a Zelda game either. But I think this is my favorite music so far.
Okay. Base black lines are down. I have to touch up those two parts. I'm going to put the rest of my black back in the bottle. Oh, that was wet. That was, that was a bad decision. <laughs> I'm so used to working with ink, like India or regular like brush pen, to where I'm so used to like putting my hands all over my work. I'm not used to painting yet. Even though we've been painting for three weeks now, I'm still not used to it. They should make paint that dries instantly. That fly off the shelves. Investors, get on it. I just realized my camera shifted earlier. Let me fix it. There we go. That's a bit better. Okay. <laughs> they should sell paint that automatically bends, blends for you. I was going to make a joke to where, like, oh, paint that dries instantly. Isn't that digital art? I feel like that's kind of what digital art is. Like, you know the Photoshop tools to where... Oh, what's it called? It's the one to where you can easily clear out a background. Because it predicts what color it could be. I think Photoshop goes crazy. AI art. Oh, this is going to take three coats of red to cover that up. Damn. Damn, damn. Yeah, I think it's cool to see what AR art can make, but it's scary for the artists, because, like, AI has been shown to, like, steal people's art. Or not necessarily steal, but, like, basically, like, already existing art. And also, I think it takes away the main point of creativity. There we go, it's not as bright now. Okay, let's update IG. I guess. Let's also get a full POV real quick. Yep. It's looking a lot like the first.
Okay, I'm gonna go and touch up those red areas real quick and we'll go back to doing the lines. Okay, I think I'm gonna do these lines because we still need to apply probably one or two more coats to cover those up. So let's start over here. But I tried to make the sections go big to small to kind of re-emphasize the shape.
This one looks really nice. That then the thick. Okay, we're gonna cover up the red again. What I also like about wearing the mask is that I'm not pushing, that I'm not putting the brushes in my mouth. Because when you do that, it fucks up your teeth over time. Because you're not supposed to hold hard things between your teeth. Yeah, I agree. It does look satisfying seeing the size difference, huh? That's why I love looking at skyscrapers. It's nice to see how the shapes change when you're looking at it from the ground up. I love perspective grids. Because even though this is a flat design, it gives the illusion of movement or perspective. Just how the shapes are formed. It's probably going to take one more coat max on that one. Hey chatters, we are three hours in the stream, so if you're new here and you aren't following, it's hashtag free to follow. If you follow, your name comes up on screen and you get to type in chat. So follow the stream if you're not following. Well, the gnat is back. You need to tell it to go away? I have been. Should I set up fly traps? we don't have ants anymore and I think those were ten times annoying
Okay. One more coat of red, then it should be fine. Oh, and then I need to also do the sections here. I forgot. I'll do that once the inside lines are done. That way I don't smear. Because I was like, it's looking too white. I think they're good and covered up now. Investors or collectors no longer in shambles.
Okay, almost done with the main black line art. This will be done in five hours. Easy. Easy. We're this far? We're only three hours in? Easy. I don't think I'll even need to take an, a Union 10 today. Maybe the mat likes the smell? Okay, I think that's all the baselines done. Oh, I gotta do these lines now, too. I'll do those real quick. Now, I did have two speckles, so I can try and cover them up. Yeah, the paint is a lot more resistant on top of the varnish.
That's probably why on a lot of the other paintings it took multiple coats. Okay, and then I kind of want to taper this or round it out a little bit. At least not too harsh of a line. You see the difference here, how it's rounded, and then the straight connecting. Makes it look less harsh. Almost looks like an orange. Like the orange sections. I'm gonna touch up this line. Because the curve is a bit crooked. There you go, that looks a bit better. There you go, perfect. I'm just touching them up to make sure they're nice and smooth. Because the tapering was a bit messy when I look at it up close. There we go. Now it's perfect. For the side time. Or time for the other side.
Just to reemphasize again, you can see the difference when you round the edges here. Makes it look like a spider web almost. Okay, all the base lines are down now, so all that needs to be done is rounding the inside edges of these rectangles and then doing a second coat of black on the outer edge. I think I will finish at 4 hours and 44 minutes. That's my goal. Okay, we gotta update IG real quick. Then we can get back to work. Let's get a quick close up. Oh, it's this way up. Oh, it looks a lot better now. <laughs> I hate when you're in the beginning stages of a piece. And you don't really know how it's going to turn out. Okay, I feel a lot better now. <laughs> okay, let's update the IG frogs. Yeah, it's looking really good. Oh, wrong scene. Love out. Okay. Anything? I'm gonna touch up the inner rectangles and then we'll do the final coat on this outside section. It's cold in my room, dude. It's also because I have the fan and window open. Why are you hiding? What did I say to you? Huh? start on this side because that side's still wet you gotta find a tiny brush <laughs> oh, 
almost did the pee-pee crazy music. Oopsie. Well, this is my smallest brush. Okay, now it's time for the tedious part. You like the lines in the white? I think it's because I like the rounded look. It also makes it like look like it's pulling in. Like it's almost like it's stretching. Should we put in the title, Final Hour? I think I can get this done in an hour. Or, the final hour, question mark? Let's change it to that. I like that a lot. The final hour, question mark? There we go. Now let's see how much a difference rounding up the rectangles makes. A little bit, because I stopped rounding here. Makes a little bit of a difference. Okay. Worthwhile. Collector's no longer in shambles. Okay, I know usually I want to cross the whole line, but I think I'm going to go fully left to right. That way I don't drag.
sorry that I haven't been talking much today. I'm just stressed out of my mind. That'd be fine. Another reason why I like the mask is it low-key helps me regulate my breathing. Because when I breathe normally, I breathe in really heavy. So since I wear glasses, if I breathe in too heavy, it fogs up the frames. So wearing the mask kind of forces me to breathe slowly and like with shallower breaths. I don't know if that's good, but it kind of forces me to focus on breathing more. And I like that.
Yeah, it's coming along. I think rounding makes a big difference. Because you can see, like, this half is rounded, and this half isn't. Very subtle, but it's a nice touch. It looks cool like this. No, we can't sell it like this. Collectors actually would be in shambles. I mean, it's nice to see, like, how different it looks. It just shows how little details, even if it's something simple, can subtly change the look. It feels like the perspective changes. Yeah, it makes it look like it's fading away when it's rounded, yeah? Like, these almost looks like it's gonna disappear. It's not as harsh. I was looking through all my loan details for student debt, and I owe 35000 and if I can get full loan forgiveness for the full thirty, because I have 10000 in Parent Plus loans, I would only have to pay $5,000. Isn't that crazy? I can love socialism. That would go crazy. I mean, the only reason that'll happen is because we're poor. So, get screwed, upper middle class. Because I think anybody, I think your family has to make the, less than 250k annually to be eligible. But then it's like, what do you even have to do to make that much money? Like, making that much a year? Holy. Because if, if your family's making that much a year, they could definitely afford to spend 70k in college. They'd make it back in... Like a third of a year, holy. Um, if your family makes less than 250000 So basically, it helps literally everyone except for the ultra-wealthy. Except for the millionaires. I make less than 250k? Yeah, I think if you were making more than 250k, I don't think you'd be watching Twitch. You'd be watching, like, actual cable television. Because cable is expensive these days. We're halfway through with the details.
I think if I hadn't messed up with the varnish on the red paint, we would have gotten done in four hours. I genuinely think that. Because we lost like 20. Run, Rowan, we lost like 20 minutes. Dang, and I said seven hours. Yeah, you're crazy, Mac. The first ever stream was just a debate. Too bad we don't have channel points on the line. Yeah, I think I said this will take five or six hours. I think this is leaning towards max five, no more than five. If it took me 20 minutes to get through... Half of the details. I legitimately think 4.30. 4.30 is my new guess.
the final hour. Yes, it is. <laughs> unless, dude, it would not take an hour unless I, like, majorly fuck up. Like, if I spill, bruh. I thought you said 6. No, I think I'll get this done by 4.30. Or 4.30, 4 hours and 30 minutes. said six hours is because you over you always want to overestimate that way people are surprised when you finish the job early it's like when your plumber is like oh yeah maybe it'll take four hours and they get it done in two and then you tip them better because you're like well you work so quickly wow that's how you play the game I mean, I don't think you tip plumbers, though. You didn't overestimate the first stream? Well, that's the first time I've painted in a long time, okay? Also, tech issues are making me really mad, that stream. But everything should be smooth and dandy. Now... Wait, you tip the plumber? What? You can tip your plumber? We've never gotten a plumber because my dad knows how to fix everything, so... We've never had to get, like, any maintenance people to our house ever. You do? What? I didn't know there was an option. Hmm, now I know. Oh wait, chatters, we're four hours into stream, so it's time for me to remind you all, if you're not following the channel, follow the channel. Hashtag follow for free. If you follow, your name shows up on screen, and um, you can type in chat after ten minutes. Hashtag free to follow. Everybody follow. I better see a million followers right now. <laughs> oh, you give them cash? Oh, okay, so, okay. I thought you meant, like, there was, like, a function for you to, like, tip them on your card or something. Don't most people tip cash? Well, I don't think many people carry cash nowadays because, you know, pandemic. I know I don't. And, like, I know cash tips are usually under the table, meaning it's not taxable income. Guys, my stomach is growling. What should I do? Should I take a union break or just keep tryharding?
E. McDonald's. Need it done in four- No, I said 4.30, not four hours exactly. And I- Yes, I do want McDonald's, but I can't afford it. If I get five gifted on my main channel right now, then I'll get a McDonald's. Otherwise, no deal. You guys know I might be moving soon, so I can't afford... To get delivery, right to know? You can eat buffalo wild wings, bro. That sounds so good, too. I think Wingstop is better. I think they're... Aren't they basically the same thing, though? I think their boneless tastes better. Eat an apple? We don't have apples. I don't like apples anyway. They're way too hard. Because, like, you know when you bite into an apple and then you get, like, the skin, like, stuck in your gum? I don't like one. I don't like one. I also don't like how they're crisp and wet. It reminds me of vegetables, and I do not like it. Can't tell I'm very picky. Oh, but for snack, I do have yogurt. I have some nice strawberry honey Greek yogurt. You never had wings up? It's just like Buffalo Wild Wings. I think it's the same parent company, right? Strawberry honey? Yeah, it's just strawberry Greek yogurt with like a little bit of honey mixed in. Because they didn't have regular plain strawberry, so. Also, if I get McDonald's right now, I'd have to buy for everybody in the house, because everybody's literally home right now. Like, how rude would it be if I only got a hamburger for myself? So then I would need to spend, like, $50 on everyone. Not worth it.
Why can't they just give you money for their portion? But then they'd be like, Megan, we've been bang paying for your groceries for since you've been alive. No, this is from... This is all we fit. Oh, no, we sports, sorry. Yeah, you know, you gotta use every single card you got whenever you don't want to do something, right? You wanna hear something funny? So I started college right out of high school, and my parents were like, Megan, you don't have to worry about paying rent as long as you're in college. I'm still in school, and they made me pay rent starting like two years ago. No, three years ago. Like, imagine how much money I'd have saved up. It's frustrating. Yeah, I know. But, you know... It do be like that sometimes. Makes me punch the air. <laughs> yeah. You like the tile work? Thank you. That's what I love about abstract or pattern work is that it's not necessarily, it doesn't necessarily require the most like craftsmanship, but it's still always nice to look at. Okay, the final section, guys. The final rounding. We're at four hours up time. We can maybe even get this done by 4.15. New PB? Rounding is all done. Now all that's left to do is put a double coat here. Let's clean off our brush and update IG. Guys, this might be a new PB. Get ready to spam. I was here. Oh, it looks so nice. I like this one a lot.
Okay. Let's go. Well, let's not use too big a brush. I can't be messing up now. Okay, camera move. There we go. It's a bit better. Does black have varnish on it? No. Because we painted on top of it. Oh my god, it's the song! Pee Pee Meltdown! Oh my god. That's good enough. Okay, we're in the final 30 minutes. Oh, it's over. Okay, this is going pretty smoothly. No mess ups, no slips up, no slip ups yet. Easier working with this longer bristle brush. I feel like I have a bit more control.
I'm not gonna touch up this part. Yeah, 408. I think another five minutes. No, another ten minutes. Just to be safe. We're on track for a new PB of Okay, other half. Because you can see, see the difference between two coats and then one. So much more opaque now. Guys, get ready. Hi, Lemon. Came just in time. Got like 10 minutes left. Not even. I can hear now. Nice. Now I can enjoy the stream to its fullest extent. My stomach is growling, but it's not time to take my break yet. Not when we're this close. No union break today. You missed the special. Oh, I thought you were talking to me. I was like, huh? Taper, easy fix. Perfect run, perfectionist run.
I can listen to the stream, but what is the point? Oh, no. Um, to hear my beautiful voice, of course. Dude, I did it again. It's because I'm going with the big brush because I'm crazy. Maybe I'm stalling for content. Collectors in shambles. Okay, it's fine. I fixed it. Easy fix. No mess ups here? Can you do tad more paint? I have to eat dinner, but I was here. Bye, Mac. Sad. You can't wait two minutes? Mac, no. Damn. Mac won't be back. Mac in shambles right now. Okay, the final strokes. Okay, I'm doing the final corner, guys. Final corner. Get ready, get ready. Get your spam ready. Few more strokes. Okay, and it's done. Guys, stop the timer. Damn, almost 4.15. Man. Well, look at that. She's done. Ugh. Finally, my elbows hurt. I was here, I was here. Okay, let's clean our brushes and do some close ups. <laughs> Sorry, I dropped it. Yeah, Lemon came in right at the end just so they could say I was here. Kind of cringe. But thank you, Lemon. Thank you for the spam. Also, before the reveal, um, if you're watching and you aren't following, you should um follow the channel. That way you get notified when I go live. You can type in chat and your name shows up on screen. Wow. So hashtag free to follow. Okay. Let's show her off. Yep. Just be careful because the paint is still very wet. There we go. Try to see if you can see the, like, the shimmer or not. Not really. It's not as in this one. Because the, um, the mag powder is only in the white section for this one. This is a primarily matte piece. I think it'd be cool. What I want to do at some point is get airbrush. Because I think getting like... Like imagine if I did like airbrush like a darker red on the edges. I think that looks so cool. So there we go. Another painting. One and done. Like the red. I think it'd look good if it was like a brighter red. Because it's more of like a maroony. Uh, I think it would be better if it was like this red. Like, see how bright that is? When this one is more like a maroon. It's more dull. It's like a rust. But, yeah, chatters, I think we are done. Um. 
Nobody's live, so no raid, Big Sag. Dude, how is nobody live on a Friday? Sag. <laughs> Connor Eats Pants title is Please Host Me. <laughs> okay, so chat us. I would like to thank everybody who hung out. Any chatters, lurkers, thank you to everybody who was in chat today. I appreciate you all. Um, I'll be live on this channel probably next Friday. It all depends, but we will see. Because on Monday I have a doctor's appointment, and then next week on the main channel, exclamation main in chat, we're doing Wicked Weeks. We're doing Halloween or spooky streams all week long. So go follow that second channel or the main channel and have notifications turned on. Lemon, you suck. <laughs> You're trolling. You're literally trolling. Oh, I can take the mask off now. I've kept it on all day. It's a little bit sweaty. Okay. Anyway, if everybody could politely, if you're watching and you like the stream, go follow the offline content. I have a separate Twitter, Instagram, and a TikTok. Go follow all three if you're a real fan. Unless, okay. <laughs> um, I will see Art Frogs next week, probably Friday. Main channel Frogs either tomorrow or Sunday with Splatoon. For the bonus up goes stream. Hope everybody has a great day. And I'll see you all later. Okay, bye. Holy. This one didn't take as long as I thought. I thought it'd take six, but we got in 415. That's a pretty good time. I think this one came out really nice. I like how the edges are rounded. I think the point that Crystal brought up that it makes it kind of forces the perspective a bit more when you round the edges, I agree. Pretty solid painting. Anyway, thank you everybody who hung out. I'll see you all next week. Make sure to follow. Tell all your friends to follow. If you have any Twitch friends, um, tell them to follow this channel. We're so close to affiliate. All we need to do is hit 50 followers. People pog. Wow. If we can get affiliate by November, that'd be epic. Okay, bye guys. I'll see you later. I just waved IRL, but I have my cam off. Okay, bye.